object detection can be used to determine the height of the pylon. By decreasing the target pylon height for each lap, this mower will gradually move inward. Image recognition automatically pauses the machine when a person is reflected in the image. This brings a new level of safety to mowers. A USB camera is mounted on top of the body. This allows detection of markers at a distance. Obstacles that cannot be detected by image recognition are grasped by bumpers made of limit switches. The crawler is supported from both sides by a cover to provide strength and prevent grass from wrapping. Since the camera is shooting while running, it is tensioned from four directions with ropes to prevent camera shake. Just push the power switch to start mowing. When finished, simply turn this switch off. It can be charged with a car charger. The mowing blade may roll up sand. The intake at the top prevents sand from being sucked in. The splash guard prevents pebbles that hit the blade from flying far away. It also protects connectors and switches from rain splash. It is controlled by a Raspberry Pi 3A+. This is to reduce heat generation and current to be stepped down. The two RS775s driving the mowing blades each rotate in opposite directions. This structure has various advantages, such as increased blade durability, reduced vibration, increased torque, etc. The battery is Leaf A PO4 because the temperature inside the body can reach nearly 50 degrees Celsius under the hot sun. I live in a mountainous area of Japan. The hardest part of the mountainous area I feel is mowing the weeds. If the grass around the house is not cut, the pests will increase rapidly and the cityscape will be devastated. It also blurs the boundary between humans and wildlife, which is unfortunate for both parties. Until now, it has taken a great deal of manpower and time to cut the weed. In Japan, much of the population in rural areas has been moving out to Tokyo. With fewer people and an aging population, how can we address the weed problem? I believe the solution is to scale out mowing. Mowing overgrown grass requires a lot of power, and larger machines are needed to provide the power. However, large machines are difficult to transport and tend to be used less frequently. This leads to a vicious cycle in which the grass grows even more and more power is needed. Even the toughest weed is soft and small before it grows. This type of weed can be mowed by smaller machines. However, the frequency of mowing needs to be increased significantly. Such tasks are suitable for small, lightweight autonomous robots. The solar panel on the top panel charges the battery and mows the weed every day, keeping the weed short at all times. There is no need to carry the robot, and the burden of mowing is greatly reduced. Similar mountainous areas are found in many parts of Asia and I hope this solution will help those living in mountainous areas. Not to mention the fact that this super simple operation Autumnus Mower is also useful to people on the plains.